Hi, my online YouTube friends. <laughs> it's me, I'm back, Erin Lim Rhodes, and I'm better than ever. I don't know if I'm better than ever, but I'm doing better. I needed some time off after I had lost my grandmother, my Nana, who a lot of you know I was really close with. She was and still is one of my best friends. And I just needed to take a step back. Um, I took a step back from work. I needed a step back from vlogging. I needed a step back from social media. And I just needed to connect with my spirit and my soul and my creator and my family and my friends, my husband, my dog. I needed to do things that made me feel fulfilled. So anyway, I'm back and I've been doing a lot of this. Roll the tape. That's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of that. Mm. Spaghetti tacos, anyone? Mm. It's not dropping. Yum. TikTok that, you TikTokers! Oh yeah, and we've been in our new house for the last couple months, which has been really, really incredible. It's a slow process, as some of you homeowners might know. A lot of buying of the things, the furniture, the art, the random house supplies that you never had before. The house is coming along great, and I think I'm gonna show you guys a little house tour on the vlog. We did a little bit of renovations, which was super fun. I mean, I don't know if it was fun. I wasn't a part of it at all but uh, seeing the final product was fun and we still have other little renovation things projects that we want to do in the house but anyway i am ready to open my life again to you guys in a major way breaking news she's back so yeah i'm gonna go um get busy working on this vlog again i'm gonna show you a day in the life i'm gonna show you some dope recipes i've been trying some workouts some personal stuff some travel what else would you guys want to know i don't know, like what i eat in a day my skincare routine so many people have request the skincare routine and it is glowing right now and my hair is growing too my hair grew like 10 inches since I last saw you guys. Look, I have to go all the way out of frame for you to see my hair. Uh, hi. A lot has changed in the last couple months. I'm a whole new woman. And a little bit on grief is that it hits everyone different. It doesn't have like a set duration. It comes in waves. Some days are fine, other days are train wrecks. And sometimes I'm at peace and sometimes I'm just sad and what I've been doing to cope is, uh, well, I pray, I try to read the Bible, I try to find wisdom within that. I look at old videos and photos of my Nana all the time. It really brings me joy and I feel like she does live on through that. Uh, I talk to my family about her. We have good laughs about, you know, some of our cherished memories, but also my Nana has been visiting me every day in different ways. Not in like a she reincarnated kind of way, but she visits me in butterfly visits. Or sometimes it's a little ladybug that'll land on my arm or on my car door. And uh, we used to call her Nana Bear, so I'll see bears somewhere, but I mainly see butterflies everywhere. And they say that those who have passed to the other side visit you in the form of a butterfly. Could visit you in different forms, but you can actually create a special type of intimate language with those on the other side. And you can literally just say, okay, Nana, if you're there, if you're still present, but in another dimension, a spiritual dimension, send me that butterfly, send me the bear, send me that little inside joke. And let me tell you, she sends the inside jokes. She sends her signs. The fact that a huge, beautiful orange monarch butterfly landed on my finger, that truly is just significant and another thing is so my sister always would get twenty dollars from my nana whenever she would come around like for gas money my sister's the baby of the family so my nana just loved giving her gas money and my sister would always reject and be like no nana no nana and she's like come on baby and slip twenty dollars in her pocket my sister would sometimes give it back sometimes nana was sneaky this happened two times recently but my sister would go to the atm to pull out money and she would just see in the atm a $20 bill just staying there. And it's like a busy area where the ATM is would literally find a $20 bill. It happened to her two times. And my sister was like, I just laughed and I, I knew it was Nana. And 
I think it's so funny because it's like finally Nana being able to say like, hey, here's your $20 and you're not giving it back. <laughs> so my family were really open to to seeing the signs and, and to having that open dialogue with her, even though she's not physically here anymore. But that's really helped me personally cope. I'm doing good, guys. I'm stronger every day. Here we go. Vlog 2.0, or is it 3.0? I don't know how many times I've stopped and restarted this damn thing, but here I am, I'm back. I'm gonna be consistent, I promise. Okay, bye. Oh, um, if you're new here, hi, welcome. Watch all my old videos and also make sure you like, you subscribe, you turn on my notifications, and you follow me on all the socials. Bing, bing, bing.